Hey guys, welcome to game one of set two between Zeke and DeWalt. Upper right corner, we have DeWalt starting as the blue Protoss. Bottom right corner, we have Zeke starting as the red Zerg. And once again, this is on Fighting Spirit, part of Fighting Spirit Mania. I just did an update to Ob Studio, which is the program I use to do all of the background recording. In fact, I need to figure out a lot of things. Eventually, I'm going to have a slate of time to do some more in-depth stuff with all this. But for the moment, let me know if the audio is not working. But the sound levels, Twitch chat is letting me know, shout out to Eski out there, that the sound levels are actually pretty good this time. Anyway. The first set was incredible, in my opinion. Just shows you the high level of play you can expect out of these two players. Zeke, by the way, scouting bottom left-hand corner first. It looked like Zeke was going to take, at least in early matches, was going to swing the matches to his favor. But you, it just shows you DeWalt and his ability to adjust. Now here's the thing. Zeke is one of those guys that can adjust right back. Which is why I am particularly excited to see these two guys and why they might actually both end up... These are two of the picks I had to potentially end up in the top four, if not in the finals, of Fighting Spirit Mania. Bonneth obviously being one of those other guys. I think I had Oxerg potentially getting up there as well. Spawning Pool on nine. Gas as well with the Extractor Trick, which allows a little bit more mineral gathering, So, which indicates this is going to be less of an aggressive spawning pool, more of a mineral gathering spawning pool. Or sorry, a uh, get the probe out of the expansion spawning pool to go ahead uh, and potentially... I feel like that's the essence of this. So if you get the cancel, so when you see the the gas, you know there's going to be aggressive zerglings. When you see this, you you have that indicator where it's like, okay, probably going for the expansion. Maybe wanted to deny a scout early. We do see a gateway first build pylon being dropped on the low ground to try to get that forge out a little bit earlier. But the drone getting a first scout as well, going to go ahead and do a little bit a little bit of harassment against this probe. Trying to get moving shot firing. Some nice micro right there from Zeke. In the meantime, six Zerglings are on the way. This probe making its way out. And it's not because of the micro I think happening here. Maybe not in time. Never mind. It looks like it is in time to go ahead and engage this drone at the natural expansion. So might be able to delay things a little bit. The drone going to go ahead and back out. Wait for those Zerglings. This drone able to at least back the probe off. Another probe needs to come out here. There is a Zealot on the front door. But Zeke... Has managed to delay DeWalt a little bit in getting his forge out. Is DeWalt going to go for a Nexus behind this? I feel like that would be extremely risky. Extremely risky. Looks like the probe has been backed off. A single Zergling attacking there. It looks like two additional Zerglings going to press the front. Natural expansion is up. Two Zelts are here, but they need to cover a lot of territory. Blocking the ramp. And you can see DeWalt already blocking the ramp. Knowing the frustration of Zeke's early Zerglings. But he's got a problem because the Zerglings initially attacking that Zealot. Getting some nice health. One Zealot trading out. A third Zealot is on the way. Once that third Zealot's out, that will definitely help open things up. But the Zerglings looking to engage and get what damage they can. Trying to draw the Zealots off the line. Either to open up the ramp or potentially take that pylon on the front door out. To delay things a bit. But now Zeke going ahead and backing out. The probe dropped before dying. Looks like it managed to drop a pylon here at the 6 o'clock location. That's going to delay Zeke's 6 o'clock base. Just a bit, and he's probably going to get a cancellation, so definitely worth the minerals there. Now that four Zealots are out, and they're still just the same cadre of Zerglings, some of them a little bit damaged. Nexus is plopping down, and you can see DeWalt just testing that front door constantly. And this is really delaying, so this is delaying that third hatchery quite a bit. Extractor online, going ahead and getting gas for Zeke. And another probe managed to sneak out the lines. How did DeWalt manage that? So in between all of the shenanigans, a single Zergling trying to break out. And here's the thing. This is what DeWalt does. So you can see where Zeke was actually keeping the other Zerglings back. Because I think he was a little bit concerned about Zealots potentially coming off the line. So DeWalt using the fact that he's oftentimes throwing out the Zealots on off timings to open up an advantageous probe scout. Where he's going to be able to go ahead and wander into the natural expansion. He's going to be able to see. And it looks like there is a Hydralis den. So it looks like he is going to be able to see this and see that it is, in fact, a Hydralisk opening. Oftentimes what Zerg players will do, if you kill that early scout, you want to deny information, go from there. DeWalt, wandering to the natural expansion, got a good look at the drone count there. He's going to try to get a look at the drone count here at the 6 o'clock location. Still doesn't know whether it's Hydralisks or not, but he does have... Ooh, he put the cybernetic score on the front, built the forge in his main. So weapons one is certainly going to finish. These Zerglings working on a Zealot. That was off corner, but in the meantime, three Zealots have managed to sneak out the corner. If 
They might be able to get some drone kills, but they're certainly going to be able to force some sort of scout. Additional Zerglings being forced now from Zeki. And these Zerglings, yeah, out of position, going to have to run back to the natural expansion. So drones already pulling out. DeWalt not even bothering going after any drone kills. Just wants to get some disruption along this back backhand wall. Getting a little bit of a hit. The drone's drilling. One drone almost dying, but it looks like it's able to get out of that corner. The Zergling's trying to get position. It looks like the Zealots are a little bit spread out. One of them peeking through, trying to get that drone kill. Does get the drone kill, but that's going to be three Zealots, honestly. And I don't think they even got a lot of Zergling kills out of that. That's Zealots going to get surrounded, so not the best exchange for DeWalt. Also, where he was able to disrupt some of that economy, it looks like the 6 o'clock location is actually completely empty. So a little bit of a light drone count in mining for Zeki, but he is starting to flood those Hydralisks up to the front door. In the meantime, Stargate is online. Citadel of Adun plopping down as well, potentially to go higher Templar tech, although yeah, I was about to say the second assimilator is usually an indicator of going more like the DT route. Something along those lines. Hydralisks and Zerglings in large numbers starting to gather on that front door. Range is being upgraded, but in the meantime, Zeke just sitting at a very light drone count. So he's got the nine on the, the main. He's only got five at the natural expansion. And he still hasn't saturated anything at the six o'clock. So DeWalt doing some good economic disruption. The Hydralisk pushing up. The cannon's a little bit out of position going at a back wall. So he might end up losing that cybernetics core and that gateway. But weapons one is going to finish behind this. So that's getting taken out. Hydra, the cybernetics core being worked on. And a slew of cannons behind this. The Zealots eating some spit in the face, and some drones also on that back line to go ahead and defend just in case this is a full bust from Zeki. Zeki holding now, now going for it, pulling the trigger, the probes coming off the line to engage, getting a lot of disruption on those initial Zerglings. The Hydras continuing to press forward. The Zealots have been thinned, though. That's the last Zealot there. And the Hydralists are pushing through. Are you kidding me? Zeki... Going all in with this, rather than worrying about the cannons of the natural expansion, instead gets Hydralisk pushing through into the main. I think this is the first time I've ever seen that. Probes are scattering everywhere, trying to surround these Hydralisks. Get one Hydra kill, but this is a lot of disrupted mining. The Zealot's actually getting boxed out by its own probes. The Hydralisks have been killed behind this, and Zeki's droning hard in the meantime, trying to get as many kills as possible, but this was a lot of probes off the line. And in an instant, all of a sudden, Zeki has even near evened up the mining count. Lost those Hydralisks on the front. but uh, So expended a lot of Hydralisks, but I don't know. Felt like he got a lot accomplished there. DeWalt's behind in supply after all of this. Zeki has started to saturate all of these bases. There's only a single Zealot left after all of that assault. Still no, no Corsair that I see. So he still doesn't have scouting information behind this. And Zeki has evened up. Yeah, so evened up the overall... Drone and worker count. Still no gas mining here as well. And it looks like there was delays as far as the Templar archives and a lot of other tech because of all of those Hydralisks that flooded through. Insane play by Zeki right there. Evolution Chamber being dropped. Hatchery being dropped. Now folding back to the four hatch style of play. Sorry, five hatch style of play. So this is going to be potentially five hatch Hydra. And Lair is being upgraded. So potentially, ooh, and it looks like on that high ground, might be able to get a free pylon. I guess that is the risk of this pylon on the high ground. Something I didn't think about previously is with that Overlord in position, Zeke so can go ahead and hammer that. So right now, DeWalt boxed into his base, economically behind. The cannons, I think, will... I'm not sure if this edge cannon will end up being taken out as a result of this. I don't think so, though. First Corsair moving its way to the natural expansion. Hydralisks are already in position to go ahead and defend Overlords here. And more Hydralisks are being produced. Let's see, is that cannon? Yeah, so that cannon is in range of that initial pylon. First DT trying to move out, but I don't know that it's going to find a lot of wiggle room unless the Zealot's linebacker for it and push out. Maybe going to try to sneak the corner. Zeki already aware of it. Hunting him down, getting a lot of initial hits, but not quite getting the kill. Sneaks out with just seven health. However, so that potentially is going to make the six o'clock location a weak point. The Corsair sailing around. So maybe he's going to be able to get kills if he gets a move on here at the 6 o'clock base. It's going to be a race between this Overlord spawning. By the way, 6 Hatchery being tacked on. It's going to be a race between this Overlord and the Hydralisks there. This is going to be razor thin. 
The Dark Templar moving in. The Overlord's just a ways away. The Shimmer's been seen. The Overlord pops, and the DT's sneaking out. So getting a little bit of economic disruption, but not a lot else. At least this DT can go ahead and get a little bit of additional vision on the map otherwise, where the Overlords for the moment are not. Psystorm just finishing. Additional gateways being tacked on. DeWalt needs to build a sizable army, but Zeki in a fairly comfortable position. Level 1 Spines on the way. Spire going to be added on for a potential tech switch. We don't see any cannons yet in the main, so it's possible with the... It looks like that Corsair is going to see that potential tech switch. Now, here's the thing with that. This is the problem for DeWalt. He needs to build an army. He needs to get High Templar out. Oftentimes, what the, the weak shell of this ends up being is his air control, where you don't end up with a lot of Corsairs in the air. So you do end up with the potential of Zeke can just save some resources here and there. If he gets the Mutalisks out, he can do a quick tech switch and do a lot of damage in the main or natural expansion. That's kind of the, the strength in the mid game with the flexibility of like the six hatch, five hatch, uh, hydralis den play. Corsair going ahead and peeking at the three o'clock location, seeing if all's well there. There are going to be a lot of high Templar and a lot of size storm to work with to prevent any sort of bust. So DeWalt is going to get another shot. He's also got that, what he does have rolling for him is that weapons upgrade. He's got level one weapons, level one armor, going to get an Archon morphed in. And it looks like he is getting Maelstrom. So a nice Maelstrom and a nice Size Storm will help him defend against a potential Mutalisk swap. We'll see if Zeki plays for that. And I like that play in the mid game, although I don't know that it's a get back in the match game. Uh, but it is, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it plays out. Lurker tech just about finished. DeWalt's going to have a few moments before Lurkers become an issue. Bottom left hand corner, an additional hatchery has been grabbed. Overlord Speed's also finished. So Zeki kind of peeking out around the map. A robotics facility also planting down. And however, the Corsair, yeah, has been silent. So I'll try to keep an eye to see if there is in fact a tech switch. We don't see any upgrades there as of yet. It looks like Siki is not, no, he's building a handful of Scourge potentially, maybe to get scouting information that also is going to be valuable for running up and hunting and picking things off. Moving this Overlord to sneak into the base to go ahead and get that scouting information. And I don't know whether he's going to, so he sees two Corsair right there. He sees the Dark Archon, which will ward him off going for any sort of suicide play right there. The Zealots marching forward with a High Templar on the front. The Hydralisks in a little bit more of a soft contain. A Sidestorm catching a little bit of that Hydralisk force to the right. Zeki is in the red. And DeWalt starting to, yeah, peel through and march. But you can see the red starting to sneak around the minimap. And the Lurker is starting to push up as well. The Corsairs are going to see the Lurkers getting into position. So DeWalt trying to test... The front a little bit with these Corsairs, trying to say you got to stay back with something. However, there's Scourge nearby. As soon as they wake up, a little bit uh, distracted. As soon as they wake up, they might be able to get something done. Zealots running up to that three o'clock base, immediately meeting Lurker fire. Another Overlord taken out right there. The Scourge still holding position, maybe waiting for potentially a drop. Another cannon being taken out onto Walt's front. The bottom left hand base is now up, and now it's kind of a race. DeWalt needs to find something, get something done before Zeki gets a full contain, and box him, boxes him out of a third. Now keep in mind, Dark Archons for burrowed units, it maelstroms them, but it doesn't interrupt them. So it just holds them in position, but doesn't do a lot else. Uh, so that's where Lurkers can be kind of a soft counter to the Dark Archon. Psystorm is here, though, and in large quantity. So it's going to come down to DeWalt being able to just nail Psystorms, potentially to shove his way up or break this contain here. Right now, the supply count dead even on both sides. More Lurkers being morphed behind this. And Walt starting to gather up. Initial Size Storm. There's a Maelstrom on a handful of Hydralisks. That's going to drop two Size Storms and melt that initial front. And I think there's going to be maybe one more Maelstrom in there. So maybe a little bit of a waste right there. That Size Storm catching one Lurker and a good portion of a second. It'll take one more hit with those Dragoons. Leaves them weak. A lot of Dragoons now gathering up, looking to clear that force. The Zerglings not responding rapidly. It looks like the Zerglings <clears throat> not able to get on the front. In the meantime, we only have level one weapons on these units. It's, so it's a big upgrade advantage for DeWalt. So he very likely will be able to punch out of this. Big supply lead currently still poking out of this, but more reinforcements are moving up. Hive is here. Double evolution chamber. That's going to be three evolution chambers behind all of this. Adrenal upgrades is working. So DeWalt needs to get a move on before that adrenal upgrade comes online. Because that's going to leave those Dragoons very soft. A couple Hydralisks 
I don't know what they're doing, moving behind the front. More Psy Storm being dropped. The Walt starting to press forward. Slowly. More Lurkers behind this. Really chewing through those Zealots on the front line. The Hydralisks have them softened up. And now the Hydralisks on that soft Dragoon line. So despite the weapons upgrade, the Walt still being forced back. Still has some Psy Storm behind this. Does have another Maelstrom available. But right now, Zeke still holding firm control. DeWalt, 20 supply lead, needs to break out. DeWalt crawling forward. There's still a, a few lurkers behind this. And a great side storm on the front. The Zealots peeling towards the left. DeWalt looks like he is going to be able to break out of this. Another Maelstrom drop catching a handful of Zerglings right there. More Zerglings streaming forward, but it looks like it is too little for Zeke to hold this. So DeWalt is going to be able to break through. Level 2 weapons, level 2 armor. Now online for him. And the Zerglings are getting there, but they don't have the Adrenal upgrade. And there's sufficient enough Dragoons that they're actually popping these Zerglings before they're even reaching the front. So the Lurker line looks like it's being penetrated. And all of a sudden, Zeke's supply down. DeWalt has managed to break out and get a degree of map control. So he's got an army out on the map. Has managed to break contain... Is he going to be able to establish a third base? His main looking thin, still pushing those weapons upgrades, and unfortunately, Z he's still sitting on four bases, and he has that Defiler mound out. So DeWalt needs to make... So he busted the contain, but he needs to make something happen behind this. He has a probe out on the field. Looks like he is moving up to go ahead and potentially take that 12 o'clock base. However, that's going to be a 12 o'clock base he's taking in the face. That's basically going to get him somewhat even. Because you already have those four very saturated bases of Zeke. However, Zeke, behind his supply, flooding the Zerglings behind, going to deny that 12 o'clock. Looks like DeWalt, what he, what he wants to do is go ahead and punish this bottom left-hand expansion. A lot of Lurkers burrowing there. Defiler Mound just finishing. That's going to help a lot with Consume. That'll help a lot against these Dragoons. The Maelstrom isn't going to be all that helpful with all of these burrowed Lurkers. The Zerglings trying to flood in from behind. Nice side storm to clear that up. And this is a lot of Dragoons now pressing into this bottom left-hand corner. More reinforcements coming from the rear. These are now Adrenal upgraded Zerglings. They'll chew through those Dragoons rather rapidly if they can get on top of them. That's the question. If the Lurker line... But there's a huge group of red moving across the minimap to engage this from the rear. So DeWalt is somewhat trapped. And this is Zeke's style of play. You've got to commit to this attack. And if you fail, you fail. You're going to end up losing the match just because your army gets wiped out. So DeWalt needs to be able to take out a hatchery, take out these drones, get something accomplished. But more Zerglings and more Zerglings are flooding through. And with the reinforcements, DeWalt realizing he's going to get pinned in, hasn't established a third, wasn't able to take out a fourth base. He's going to call GG right there. Fun game one. And it just shows you the level of intensity between these guys. Just a that you know that that was only an 18 minute match, but honestly, it felt like it. Uh, I don't know, felt more intense than 18 minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna go ahead and move on to game two, but Zeke once again takes game one in set two.